All right, everybody, welcome back to my videos. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the best way to play from the don't pass line. Um, the don't pass, when there's a cold table, you want to be on the don't pass. Uh, I want to show you the best way that I feel like you should play the don't pass. Uh, you can put in below in the comments the way you play the don't pass, uh, your best way. Uh, we'd love to share ideas. Uh, appreciate that. So we're going to start with a 500 bank roll today. The best way to play the don't pass. Now, I always feel like it's the opposite of the pass line. We talked about yesterday the pass line. We always start with a table minimum bet and then put odds. I like to always do a bigger don't pass uh, because I get even money after the come out, right? We get even money on any number, a seven before any number, which in my opinion is the best bet in the casino if you get past the come out one. We'll talk about that in just a second. I like to do a bigger bet on the don't pass. We have a 500 bankroll, so I'm going to go with a $75 don't pass. Now, I could hedge up to all of it on hopping the sevens and a yo. I stay away from the yo. It's just, it's just, you know, I hate hedging and hedging and hedging and hedging over and over and over and over again because hedging does not pay proper odds. We know the huge house edge and all these prop bets. So the less you do, the better. And I'm okay losing some of my money on a come out seven or 11. Um, I, I just don't wanna lose it all. Me personally, I just stay away from the yo period. I just don't even do it. Um, but the sevens, we'll, we'll, we'll hedge those. Um, I've got $75 here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, let me get change. We're going to hop the sevens. I'm going to tell the dealer, hop the big reds for three each. Why three each? It's just because I don't want to get wiped out of all my money, but I'm not going to hit 100%. I'm not giving them all that money. Um, $3 is going to pay me 45 I mean, it keeps me in the game. I, I don't get totally wiped out. That's how I'm going to play the come out. I'm not going to play the yo. You're more than happy to play the yo if you would like to hedge the yo, but I don't. We'll see what happens. We're going to roll it out here. <laughs> and there it is. Big red. Yikes. So... How do you win on the don't pass? On the first roll, you must roll a two or a three. That's it. That's why the pass line is a huge advantage on the very first come out roll, okay? After the come out roll, then it totally flips to the advantage on the don't player. Now, I can only win on the don't pass line on that come out roll with a two or a three. It's the opposite of the pass line. On a pass line, we want a 7 or an 11 to win. If I roll a 7 or 11, I lose. So I'm going to lose. Now, I did hop the 6-1 for 3 bucks. It's going to pay me 45 I'll do 50 for a nickel. So I got some of that back. I'm going to go back up to the don't. Um... If you roll a 12, that's why the 12 is pictured here. It's a push. It's called a push. You don't win, you don't lose. In some casinos around the country and around the world, if you look carefully at their felt, you may even see aces here. You may see aces. So that means that their casino, in their jurisdiction, they're going to give you a push on aces and not boxcar. So watch the felt. If you see other videos, check the felt. Uh, you may see aces here instead of box cars. All right, so we're going to do the same bet. Uh, let me get changed for a nickel. 
I'm going to go back up hopping just for three bucks. I mean, we know it's the easiest number to roll in the casino. I'm, I, I just, I'm not trying to do it, but I don't want to lose all 75 at once. So come out and roll again. Here we go. I want to show you my best way to play the don't pass. We got neat. All right. So the points an even number. So anytime it's an even number, if you watch my videos, uh, you know I will uh, play the hard way on an even number just to flip the odds more into my favor. Uh, it's basically eliminating one of the ways to lose. So I'm going to go ahead and do what? $8. Uh, we'll do 10 for the sake. It's easier. Um, so we're protecting that. Now, what's my best way to play this? Well, I've got $75 here. I'm going to spread across $75. Let me get change. I'm going to go three units on every number. So that's 30, 60, 78 dollars. Now I'm going to look for, I don't know, two hits. Should we just say two hits and then we'll come down? We got a five. Just because I'm a don't pass player does not mean that was a five. Just because I'm a don't pass player does not mean I'm out to get the shooter. It's a big misconception. Now, if I just play the don't and I don't do anything else, well, then that's pretty obvious you're against the shooter. Yeah. But if I'm betting numbers, I'm going to use the profits to press inside that was one hit we're gonna go one more hit and then we'll regress down to the table minimum now, on the inside so we've just made $21 let's get one more hit we hope what is that AC Ducey that's nothing we don't really like to see uh, Horn numbers because we don't win any money. Yes, we avoided the big red, uh, but and the point, but we didn't make any money. We want numbers where we can make money. We got a six. There's a good one. That's a good one for us. So we've already made twenty-one dollars, and we pressed the profits. We got thirty dollars on it. That's going to pay me thirty-five dollars. So. We've made 35 and 21. So we've made uh, $56. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to regress down to the table minimum. $10 table. I'm going to take all my profits. I, I know I started with 15. So we've regressed, taken our profits. Now I really like our situation. I'm going to take the hard eight now down to eight dollars that's going to pay me 72. so we're in a great position yes we're on the don'ts uh, we've made some profit back so if we do lose the don't pass bet here it's not a total wash because we've collected some profits and we're still playing on some numbers here at this point now what i'm going to do is play uh, what's called my hit and run if I hit another box number, I'm going to take it down. We got a hard eight. Oh, okay. That's, that's good for the scenario here. So, yes, I'm on the don't pass. I hit the point. Hot shooter. 
but I had it protected. One of those five ways I could lose, I, I tried to eliminate that. So I'm gonna get paid uh, $72. We lost three bucks, no problem. In my opinion, you must, must, must play the hard way on the don'ts, on an even number. You must, you must. In my opinion, there's no way around that. Because if you hit a hard point number, you're just gonna kick yourself. It's worth the little investment. So we're off on the come out. I'm gonna go again, 75 on the don'ts. So we're making money, even though we hit the point, folks. We hit the point as a don't player. We kind of broke even because it was the hard eight, and we've made money on box numbers. Just because somebody's on the don't pass does not mean they don't want to see a hot shooter. Um, I want it to be a 30-40 roller. I just rather them not hit the point so many times. If they do a 30 roller and hit two points, I'm okay with that. You know, if they go a 30 roller and hit seven different points or seven points, then that, I'm not happy about that. So we have a come out roll. I'm going to be off. We got 75 on the don'ts. Uh, I'm going to hedge um, three, three, three on the sevens. That's nine total. I'm going to tell the dealers, hey, hop in the reds three apiece. That's a bet. Three, three, three. Let's go for another point here. Let's see what happens. Let's play it out. We got box cars. That's a push. That's a big misconception. Sometimes people think you win on that and you don't. Now, unfortunately, I do lose the hot bets because the hot bets are a one roll bet. So we got to go back up for $9 again. 333. Three, three. One change. Started with a 500 bankroll. We're off on the come out. Here we go. I love playing it out so we can talk through different scenarios. Uh, you know, since we hit the hard eight, I'm feeling like we're still in the middle of the first roll. We got another hard eight. I'm rolling pretty well today. So, we got the exact same situation. So, I'm going to go up on the hard eight for $8. Eliminating one of the ways to lose that 75 bucks. Since we hit the hard eight on the previous point, I feel like we didn't lose on the don't pass, so I did not reset my bets. Um, I'm at that point where I'm still in that hit and run phase. If I hit any of my box numbers, I will pull them down because I feel like this is still my first point because we didn't lose and we didn't win. I feel like it's a big continuation of that first point. So we're in the middle of that hit and run phase. Oh no, we got a sell. That's okay. So we're going to lose the eight. That's eight dollars. We're going to lose 20. 40, 52, and 8. I lost $60, but we made $75. So we profited 15. I did lose 9 on the previous hedge and 9 on the previous hedge after that. So I lost actually $4 on that series. We were just looking for one box number and then we pull it down. But that's okay. When you play from the don't pass, it's okay. Playing from the don't pass in this way makes your bankroll last. Uh, in my opinion, it makes your bankroll last. You may not quadruple up on your bankroll, but your bankroll will last. You'll play for a long time and you'll have a lot of fun uh, with a chance to win. So we're on a come out roll. Let's do another come out roll. Uh, we're going to hop the reds. Three, 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 nine dollars total. Appreciate everybody watching my videos. We got a Vegas trip coming up end of December. We're gonna hop the reds. Three, three, three. Come out, roll. Here we go. 
This is the best way I feel like uh, playing the don't pass. We got a yo. Oh, that's an absolute disaster. Now, this is why I said if you want to also hedge the yo, that's up to you. Some of you might feel like, hey, three bucks on the yo, what the heck, it's worth it. That's up to you. Uh, over the long, hole, only, long haul, only 15 to 1. Casino really eats at your, at your money. But in this case, folks, I'm going to lose 75 plus 9. I lost $84. Yikes. That one stung a little bit. That is the worst case scenario. Absolutely. But that's why I make these videos, folks. There's no editing. It's all the truth. One one take, and that's it. All right. So we're going to hedge again. 3-3-3 three, three, three on the come up. Here we go. We got a nine. Points nine. Now, when the point's five or nine, there's nothing I can do even, of course. There's nothing I can do to counteract it or flip my odds or uh, help myself. Uh, some people like... If the point is a nine, they, they like to throw a little field bet in there for a little insurance if you're on the don't pass, but I'm not really a field better because, you know, there's a huge house edge. Only if you happen to roll a nine does it really pay off for you. Uh, um, because so many of my box numbers right here, the five, the six, the eight, aren't in the field that I want to hit. So we're going to go uh, three units each number. change. Let's see if we can finish strong here. So we've got 75 on the don't because the point is not a six or eight. We've got an extra three bucks than we did last time. So we've got 30, 60, 75, 81 dollars now at risk. But that's okay, because before uh, it was, uh, what was it before? Uh, 78 plus 8. So we had 64 at risk. No, 86 at risk. Sorry. Um, so the point's 9. We're good to go. We're going to go two hits and regress down to the table minimum and then go to the old hit and run. Trying to maximize value on the box numbers while on the don't pass line. We got a six, that's $21. We're gonna use the profits to press. Uh, I'm gonna press inside numbers. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna uh, we'll just change that up. We'll just do that. Again, it's personal preference. Some people like to press the number they hit. I like to spread it out inside if I don't have a lot of money. If I had enough money, I'd spread it all the way across. So that was one hit. I'm looking for one more box hit. Preferably, it's an inside number that we've pressed. Not pressed, but we've upped our bets. We got ace. That's not going to help us. Again, that's a wasted throw. I hate to see that early. We want to get those box numbers in the bag early. Oh, my back. The back is. Ah. So 
So we've had three rolls, so it sounds like we should have regressed down already, but we have not hit a second box number. Oh no, what a disaster. We hit another front line winner, I'll tell you. My table is turning into a pass line table, wow. Wow, that's gonna hurt. I've got no protection. Yikes. Yikes, that is a loser. We're off on the come out, folks. Not too good today. We'll do one more point. Let's see what happens. Let's finish strong. I'm going to go ahead and hop the sevens, three apiece. It's nine bucks. It's a bet. We're off. Oh, that's a beauty. Why is that a beauty? Yes, I've rolled it three out of four rolls, but we win $75. We win on the don't pass line on the come out roll. Wow, did we need that, folks. Wow, did we need that. Thank you very much, because we started with $500. I need change. We're going to hop to sevens on the come out. Nine dollars, three apiece, and we're off. Where's my buddy, my pal, AC Ducey, huh? Where's AC Ducey? I could use an AC Ducey right now. We got box cars. That's a push. Wow, a lot of aces and box cars today. Well, I gotta go back up for another nine dollars. You know what? I'm gonna put the ten there. I'm just gonna give myself one change. You guys know it's three, three, three. That's a bet. Three, three, three. Hop into seven. It's three, 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 and we're off on the puck. We got a four easy. Oh, okay. That changes the game. That changes the game right there. Love it. Now, let's talk about when the points are four and ten. Well, a couple things you can do. If you're a loyal follower to my channel, you know we call that an opportunity. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to put odds on the four. Play four. Uh... But we are going to definitely play the hard four because we want to eliminate one of the ways we can lose. So I'm going to put a $10 hard four. Actually, you know what? For the sake of the video, we're going to go with $11. That'll pay me $77. Now, our bets are up there. I'm not going to reduce these bets. I'm not. Right now, I've got... We're going to go a quarter on the five and nine. And we've got... Right now, we've got 30 on the 60. I'm going to bump them up. I just love the 4 and 10 situation. Why? Because mathematically, we have two ways to lose. Two ways to lose. Okay? Uh, what do I got on the 10, 15? I'll be happy with that. Now, I've got two ways to lose. 3, 1, 1, 3. Right there. That's the only way I can lose. If a big red comes out, I'll get my 75 back. Right now, I've got way more invested because I'm looking for a box hit right here. Let's get a box hit, and then we'll regress down. We got a five. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to make $35. I'm going to back it. Now, we're going to regress down to the table minimum. Four or ten is a don't player. 
I mean that. I mean you, it just doesn't get any better. Than that. Does not get any better. Than that. We got a five. That's fourteen dollars. I'm gonna do fifteen for one. That's one hit. Plus, we hit one before a box hit. That's our two hits. I'm going to do the hit and run from here on out now. We're going to hit and run. That means if I hit the bet, I'm going to take it down. We got a hard six. That's $14. Again, I'll do 15. And we'll take it down for one. 15 for one. Beautiful. Hit and run. We're in that mode right now of the hit and run strategy. We love the point being four or ten as a don't player. We're just trying to maximize our profits. Oh my goodness gracious, no. The bankroll killer strikes again. Oh my goodness, folks. We just lost ourselves 86 bucks. Yikes. My table, I'm telling you, is turning into a dang pass line table. Wow. 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 Oh, my goodness. Imagine if I was on the pass line today on this table. I can tell you this. If I was not on box numbers today from the don'ts, I don't think I'd have a bankroll left. If I was pounding the don'ts with odds, that four right there would have wiped out my bankroll because I would have had 150 odds plus the hard four protecting the total 225 investment plus we hit the point of nine before that. Uh, man, it was ugly, folks. That was an ugly video. But to me, that's the best way to play. The don'ts did not work out for us today. Luckily... The box numbers preserved our bankroll, so we're not leaving here with zero. We've got 250 in greens. Let's see what we've got. We started with 500, so there's another green, 375, I think we absolutely, oh, we also hit a point of hard eight, where did I go, three for three in points again today, unbelievable, unbelievable, there's a nickel, I absolutely think we uh, minimized our losses from the don'ts by playing the box numbers and hedging on the hard ways. Uh, we've got $383. So to be down only $117 from the don't pass, I think that's a win for us today. Wow. Well, my friends, to me, that's the best way to play the don't pass. Thanks for watching my videos. Until tomorrow, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.